In this mini lesson, we're going to be talking about the activity series, which is found on table J in your reference tables. Table J is used often when talking about redox reactions in electrochemistry. Looking at table J, it's all about what we call the activity series, which is who is the more active or least active metal or nonmetal when undergoing a single replacement reaction. The metals closer to the top of table J are more reactive and therefore more likely to be oxidized. The nonmetals that are more reactive and are more likely to be reduced. Any metal on the table J will react spontaneously if it's with a metal ion that is below it. This means that the metal with a charge must be below the neutral metal for there to be a reaction. Remember, any element that is in a compound is the ion. So let's look at these questions. According to reference table J, which of the following will react spontaneously with a hydrogen ion? The answer is iron. The reason why is because of all the possible choices, it is the one on the top of the list. Therefore, it is the most reactive and will be the one that reacts spontaneously. Which of the following will replace the nickel ion in the compound nickel nitrate? You can determine that chromium is going to be your answer. Why? Chromium is much higher up on the activity series, and it's above nickel. Which atom ion pair will cobalt metal oxidize spontaneously under standard conditions? Looking at these answer choices, you have to determine which metal and which ion would be the ones that would be, one, reacting, and two, spontaneous, meaning the atom is above the ion on table J. That would be choice B.